It's YouTube Wednesday! Today I want to mess with re uh, red and blue light. You can do a lot of cool effects with red and blue light, and the basics of it is that in red light, blue paint turns black, and in red light, red paint disappears. In blue light, red paint turns black, and blue paint disappears. Um, I have a couple of lights rigged up right here. There we go. I have a couple of lights rigged up here, and one is red and one is blue, and I will just show you a couple different things. I'm gonna test some paint here real quick because different bulbs will react differently to different shades. So I have two kinds of red and I have two kinds of blue. Now I wanna see which one works the strongest. And now I hit the lights. So what I have here, I, I know it's really dark, um, but what I have here is I have both a blue light and a red light on. All right, I have both a blue and a red light on. And right now, you can see all of the paints that I did. Where I put a dusky gray background by misting some spray paint. I could have painted all gray with a gray primer, but I didn't have that. So where I put a dusky black background, or you know, just I misted it with spray paint, this works better than just white. Because white doesn't bounce light off evenly, so you've got to put it on a not white surface. White bounce is more of one than the other. So let's get you closer. Okay. And I will show you the difference. Remember, there's two kinds of blue and two colors of red. I'm going to turn off the blue light. I have turned off the blue light, and that red has almost disappeared on that dusky background. It has faded over here on this side, but it's almost gone over here. So that's kind of very hard to see. If I turn back on the blue light, that creates almost a white light because there's more information for, for these colors. Then if I turn off the, the red light and leave on the blue, you can see over here, now these reds are very, very black, and this blue is very faded, okay? It's very hard to see that blue. But if you switch light, I'm gonna switch them now. I've now switched and now it's black. All right, the red is black. So you can kind of see that there's, there's definitely a change that happens, okay? And you can use that to change a set instantly. Um, you can use it for a lot of reasons. I'm gonna bring the lights back up and I'm gonna do a cool effect on this for you. So you can see now how I missed it out this one side. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit more of that because I wanna do something right here. One of the most common ways for this trick to be illustrated is uh, with fish. So I'll go ahead and I'll do the fish example.
I am uh, not a painter, so bear with me. Okay, that's my fish. I'm gonna kill the lights and I'll show you what I can do with that. Now, if this is what they see when they first come in, all right, the, the center is very faded, all right? And if I switch, you'll immediately see that the, uh, now this is still wet, so I'm getting a little bit of reflection of just reflected light. It isn't necessarily that you see the blue, but it's the reflection of the wet. So as that dries, that'll be even a better example but I'm impatient. So, like that. See a fish swimming along in the ocean. Oh, the fish is dead, or it's x-rayed. So you can quickly do an x-ray type set um, involved. That's a pretty terrible looking fish. I realize that now. It looks kind of like a strawberry on its side. But you get the idea. And here, you know, I've got the, when the red light is on, the blue fish shows up well. When the red light is off and the blue light is on, the bones show up very well because the bones are painted in red and they become black. So this is a, a really cool effect. You can get some really cool effects with this. I have another demo to do for you. That's just a plaster bust. Okay, red light, and there it is in blue light. I'm kind of burning it out though with the light being so close. Now, once again, I'm not going to do a great job of this, but I just want to show you. I want to give you the, the concept of it. Now you take as long as you want to do the makeup job, do a regular makeup job, airbrush the colors on. No problem, no worries. But you do want to stick to red or blue makeup. Now I can write things on the walls of a kid's bedroom. I can, there's all kinds of ways that I can do this and utilize this trick in a show. So that looks like a black and white, you know, makeup job there. If I switch, then your actor really isn't wearing any makeup. It's very hard to see. This is a normal actor who is uh, greeting people in a room and maybe has to undergo a transformation. Well, as long as he keeps a little remote or something, even the remote Christmas tree switches that turn lights on and off, they have A and B channels, he's got it in his pocket, boom, when he wants to turn scary on the guests, he flips the lights and makes, I mean, or you could put it in a prop controller and use a prop controller in order to make your light switch. You can dim the lights on and off also. But you have a non-scary actor, no makeup, talking to your guests, yada yada yada, uh, maybe some thunder happens, the lights change, and then BAM! Well, let me do the BAM better. And then BAM! He has a scary makeup drop. Uh, use the power of red and blue. Play with it. You can make maggots appear on a prop. There's so much stuff that you can do with this red and blue trick. You can do whole sets and have a whole set just transform right in front of people's eyes. So that's red and blue.